Okay, welcome back to movie theaters, everybody. Here's a virus film. Sorta. Of. <laughs> I like that this one is, I think, the first movie I've been to that has a warning label for flashing and epilepsy in front yeah, of it. Yeah. In front of the movie. Now, I've been here, I've been at the theater before where they have, like, the piece of paper on the window. Like, be careful if you go see Incredibles 2. This one, it's like right there on screen in front of the movie and it earns that warning label in front of it <laughs> i'm pretty sure i only saw about two-thirds of this movie because when it hits not only did i have to shut my eyes when all that was going on screen but it was so much and so intense i had to do this right. like my hands right in front. the warning label comes up Jared looks at me and just goes, because I have epilepsy, Jared looks over at me and just goes, are you going to be okay? Like, that just made me picture an hour in, I'd be sitting there going, can't look away, man! Can't look away! <laughs> <laughs> well, I was I was actually kind of prepared to, like, what, am I, am I going to have to, like, keep you from swallowing your tongue or something like that? <laughs> <laughs> no, only when... <laughs> <laughs> Only when we're at something we'd give an F to, <laughs> then I might swallow my tongue, which had, would have nothing to do with the strobe effects. It's like, end this now. <laughs> so you ha uh, you have epilepsy, but yeah. the thing is, I I had to look away just because it was just so bright. Yeah. I mean, I mean this this movie would go from pitch black to just suddenly. Right and it goes on a while. Right. I was thinking about that too. I go like, okay, beyond me having epilepsy, yeah. I, I don't know how anyone can watch this. Right, sequences. no, no. Like, I, was, I really don't. I was like, holy shit, can you not? <laughs> yeah, and it goes on a while. And it was getting frustrating because I'm like, I feel like I should be seeing what's going on here. Yeah. Because it's usually when something that I guess important is happening. I don't know. I wasn't <laughs> looking at the screen. It sounded important. It got a little frustrating after a while, and I don't know how there wasn't somebody to say, maybe we need to tone this down. <laughs> like, it is literally making these sequences unwatchable. And it's, not only is it these strobes going on in the middle of the woods, but also a lot of really quick flashing edits. I don't know how to, uh, else to put it. Yeah. To not just the lights, but random shots that they're... They quit or are right, flashing yeah. into the movie, and throughout the last the last act of the movie, like I just kind of got used to it, where I would have to just <laughs> like it's like I'm at the movie theater listening to an audiobook. You know, honestly, <laughs> toward the end, it felt like they kind of balanced the brightness up a little bit. Like there were a couple of parts yeah. where I was looking up and I was feeling like I was fine. But I was also bracing myself that it was about to get worse. Sure, yeah. Even if it didn't necessarily, that was still in my head, as you've made this so intense so far, as far as these mm. strobes go, I was almost cautious to keep looking during these sequences because I didn't know if it would start back up again. Right, right. This is the most I've seen something like this in, since... Uh, that last Tomb Raider movie, maybe oh, really? the, during the the thunderstorm sequence, mm. um, the Incredibles two added a little bit. I, I can't remember what else, but this is in the Earth. This is the new uh, Ben Wheatley movie, and boy, is it ever a Ben Wheatley film! <laughs> this is essentially like Kill List Corona style. <laughs> so if you're if you're familiar with his kind of, especially his movies like kill list high rise stuff like that this is definitely a ben wheatley film especially compared to uh rebecca that he did last year which i didn't care all that much for i'm actually not familiar with this guy's uh work at all i i like ben is... wheatley a lot i didn't care that much for rebecca but this is way more in his wheelhouse of his kind of movie he also did a movie called free fire i do i do like ben wheatley quite a bit so hmm. despite my problems I had with the strobing, I actually did really like this movie. <laughs> really? I did, yeah. <laughs> you, okay, so here's the thing. You threw me off. I was coming to this review going to like totally uh, mess with you. Just be like, just be like the rich symbolism of this movie yeah, and yeah. everything else like that. And, sure. and, and be like, and then be like, this movie sucked. <laughs> no, I like it when, uh, I like when I say, when I, when I know we're about to disagree with on a movie, 
because I know going in, I've into this review, I like this movie a lot better than you did <laughs> because I can usually tell because when it when I say in the review like uh, like oh I really like this and you kind of do the oh oh okay like inside you're like all right motherfucker. <laughs> all right. All right. You well, keep talking about and, this and shit. Also, right, and, and also in the theater, I don't do a very good job of poker face. No, this one especially. Sometimes, like, last week with Voyagers, I wasn't sure. Like, this. So we get 30 minutes into this movie. And Jared's over there going, what is this film? And we get an hour into it. And Jared's like, how long is this? And <laughs> We get 75 minutes, and he's, where's the tits? No, he didn't. He didn't say that. I made that part up. <laughs> I made that up. Um, the rest of it's totally true, though. Yeah. So, and you ran out of stuff to say at one point. In the last 15 minutes, I just heard, <laughs> No, I did. I did actually really enjoy this movie. I like going into a movie like this, where I knew, I kind of like, Going to theaters now where yeah. the main thing that we're going to see are things that I've barely seen a trailer for or yeah. really don't know much about. Right. So I kind of like going into this movie only knowing surface level what it was sort of about. You know more of it. You knew more of it going in than I did. I this? had not. You you like texted me like, and in fact, I think in the text, you just referred to it as Earth. And I'm like, um, we're going to see Earth, dude. <laughs> we're going to see a nature yeah. documentary, yeah. which we kind of did. Honestly, <laughs> we sort of take a, this. I kind of love this movie movie actually because this movie is like what if um the world's craziest holistic healer and environmental researcher found something like the monolith from 2001 and it just made them go bat shit insane in the woods and start collecting people and doing weird shit with photographs i like going into this being i'm kind of curious where a lot of this shit is leading um and i was enjoying the atmosphere, especially. I thought the movie did a good job of making the woods feel like a character. Um, between the, the, the shots they would do, like the mushrooms, a lot of the establishing shots, sure. the sound of the, the water it hitting, you, you really mm -hmm. felt like you were there, trapped in the woods. And the musical score, I adore. The musical score is almost... A, a character in and of itself. There's a part in this movie where the musical score tries killing them. Mm. <laughs> I'm like, the music is so good. It's kind of a character in this film. And this poor bastard with his foot. I know. I know. So yeah. I, I actually said that throughout the, uh, throughout the movie, uh, um, the, um, uh, uh, what was his name? Um, Martin. Yeah. Martin. Poor Martin, man. The poor Martin is being uh, just tortured, but not in a blatant way. Just more of an approach of what you'd see in, like, a prank show. <laughs> <laughs> You know, Maybe there's a reason the villain looks a little bit like Chris Pond is from Jackass. <laughs> you know, he is, he is, he's like, he's like, first, you know, they uh, they uh, they get ransacked uh, in the middle of the night. Uh, they get mugged. Somebody takes their shoes. Yeah. Uh, and and like and, and like so. Poor Martin is walking around in the woods without his shoes on, steps on something sharp, which they showed at the beginning of the uh, movie what, I guess that's what it was, but it didn't really look like it was sharp enough to put a... Man, that thing was huge. That gash right, it that had in gash there. was way too big. You're right. Think. This movie kind of starts out like, because I didn't know where it was going at that point yeah, in the movie. So I was like, yeah. is this going to be like Art House Blair Witch? <laughs> like, but it's, yeah, not, yeah. it's not a found footage movie. So, although it was kind of shot like one. Okay, I'm glad you mentioned that, like, because I... I I, I, I like the cinematography in this movie. I you did. did? I did. I liked a lot of the handheld. What I was noted. Did you notice how there was sort of a change in quality in some shots? How yeah. there was Okay, you did. So you noticed that like some a lot of it looked like it was kind of shot on film, but then other parts looked like it was shot on a cell phone. Um, yeah. Some parts looked like the frame rate was a lot higher okay, than yeah, a yeah. lot of yeah, other yeah, sequences yeah, yeah. in the movie. Yeah. 
And I don't know what the reasoning behind that is, because it didn't feel like it played into anything. Right. It, I, I didn't even know, know if it was just me, but that I was noticing in it. But I like a lot of the I liked a lot of the handheld work in it. I liked uh, sequences where the guy has the axe. I like how you really felt the weight of the axe in these sequences. That a whack that an axe is not an easy thing to swing if you're a dude like this. And you see in horror films where it looks where they kind of make it look fairly easy. And in this, I really felt the weight of that damn thing when that dude was swinging that shit around. But back to this poor asshole's foot. Right, okay. So, <laughs> now, the stitches scene. If you got a problem watching people get stitches, which I don't, but still, that was an effective scene. And if you don't like that kind of thing, brace yourself. It gets more graphic from there. It does not stop there as the movie goes along. So already with this dude getting stitches, I was liking that. We're like, this dude is just sitting there having a, the worst day. Right. Like, just having to get these stitches on the bottom of his foot. And then, it, not to spoil, not, not to get deep into spoilers, but as the movie goes on, there's an intense ass scene with an axe and uh, that that's not the part I was referring to a second ago. There's another scene before that involving this, this axe. And then it, it starts to get kind of funny. Like the movie has a sort of a sense of humor about right. this, where it gets to a point where a third terrible thing has to happen to this guy's right, right. And even this guy is just like almost annoyed like, at this point. <laughs> So I sort of liked how there's been these horrific scenes, but then that one was kind of funny. <laughs> so you didn't like this movie. Man, I'm sorry I didn't. Yeah. I um, I like what you said about like the premise. Like, yeah, the premise seems like it it, it had something going for it. Yeah. Um, I I also kind of enjoyed the whole. It seemed like an. It, is this an independent film? Like, is right. this is this a low budget film? It's definitely a low budget movie. Okay, okay. <laughs> so I'll give it that much. Uh, I'll give it that much credit. You know, I I enjoy. Uh, I, I enjoy the effort of a low budget film, but a low budget film still has to have some standard of quality. And 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 I did. I just felt. I just did not see it here. I just I did. did not really. Yeah. Yeah, I did. I I thought they made very good use of it probably didn't take them very long to do this. I thought it did a good job with a very minimal cast, minimal sets and yeah. surroundings, mm -hmm. and it maintained a level of suspense for me. Um but having said that, it it it's the kind of horror movie that's not for everybody. It's it, it's not. I don't think this is an A24 movie, but it feels kind of like an A24 horror movie that would be kind of device. I mean, like it's a Ben Wheatley horror film. I've, so I've never heard of A24. Go. It's a company that puts out a lot of independent oh, I see. horror movies. There's things about it where I was sitting there going, all right, some of you characters are being a little too trusting in certain situations. Mm -hmm. And also it does like the thing where you really should have killed this one person instead of wounding them. Right. And just so the movie can kind of go on a little longer. Right. Yeah, it does things like that. And you go into this kind of movie knowing that a lot of it's going to be kind of vague. I mean, the endings, the ending of the movie's not great, really. But at the same time, it's exactly the kind of ending that you'd expect a movie like this to mm -hmm. have. Um, I, I was enjoying the ride of it. I did. There were a lot of things like, again, the atmosphere, the camera angles, how there were a lot of shots where you weren't sure if they were being watched or if it's just the storytelling, they're just kind of playing with the audience a little bit. And the soundtrack did a very good job, I thought, of, of, of really setting the mood of, of a lot of these, of, of a lot of the weirdness of this movie. It, I'll agree, yeah, it definitely, it definitely kind of, it, it's a weird, it's a weird score, it's a weird soundtrack. Yeah. Um, but, I don't know, it just, it, it was just, we, it, it just felt more like, like, this character who introduces this um, soundtrack is just like, I'm getting ready for my uh, set at 
at uh, uh, Coachella. <laughs> whoa, 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 it was, whoa, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But I was kind of digging, <laughs> because I was already digging the soundtrack before then, and by that point, I was like, well, I kind of like how they've made it a character in the film. That's weird. <laughs> like, again, I was like, I'm just so curious of where this movie is going. Yeah. Like, I wasn't expecting a character to just start using the musical score as a weapon in the film. <laughs> like, so like, okay, show me what else you got here, film. And, you know, I... That that is a very eccentric, wildernessy, weird researcher character. Yeah. So I didn't think it was out of character for her to be doing something like that. Yeah. Did you find any of it suspenseful at all? No. You didn't. No. Okay. I, I did. Just I, like, I really did. I I you know when 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 uh, a certain character comes on, I'm just kind of like, oh, they're working together, so. Okay. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, there there are aspects of it where, when I there are aspects of it where I like where I see where this part's going. Yeah. But I don't know why, yeah. and I'm curious where it's going to well, I kind of know how it's going to do the, the type of ending it's going to have. Right. But I was but I was still enjoying the ride through a lot of it. A lot of the weird kooky shit a lot of them were doing. Like, now drink this milk and sit by this magical rock. All right, let's see how this plays out. <laughs> if I can look at it cuz it's so bright and flashing in my Which, damn face. There again, poor Martin is just if, if he's not if he's not like being maimed he's being drugged throughout this dude. movie <laughs> i know right yeah characters are a little too trusting in this movie <laughs> no i did i like this movie a lot better than i did uh the unholy uh that we saw a couple of weeks ago oh, this is a way better um, made movie it was way better made and paced and and directed and edited i think i can agree that this would be more memorable but not because it was better <laughs> sure sure uh-huh um i would give it as far as a grade goes if there were things about it that were better i would go a little higher one fixing the goddamn strobe shit seriously like i would like to watch this movie that i am recommending <laughs> um some story elements especially the ending could be improved mm -hmm. upon like a rewrite uh, or a, another draft, and uh, and also they, it, it does a lot of woodsy horror movies where characters kind of do some dumb things. But no, I was with it for the ride. And again, like I just on a technical level, I I enjoyed it, and I like Ben Wheatley's movie, so I'd give it a B plus. Okay. Yeah, I I wish I could go higher because there are things I love about this movie, yeah. but again, technically, I really only saw two thirds of this film. Hmm. From hiding my eyes, right, right, because right. I was so scared <laughs> of dying. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's why you were so suspenseful. I, yeah, exactly. I didn't know this was going to be the last movie I ever saw. <laughs> like, well, better this be the last movie I ever see than if it was like, I don't know, Curse of the Blind Dead or something. <laughs> nah. what, all right. You're going to give it a D minus. All right, all right, all right. Get ready, commenters. Are you ready for this? You ready for my grade? You ready? You ready? F. You're giving this an F. I gotta give it an F. Really? I gotta give it an F. Because here's the thing. I found this movie offensive to all of my senses. Yeah. I I really did not like uh, the uh, the characters. It, it, just the writing, the cinematography. I, yeah. No, no. You felt a little <laughs> something for the characters. You, well, did, you, you okay. did feel sorry for... Give it a D minus I mean, for the dude's <laughs> foot. Everything this dude's foot <laughs> went look, through. Look, if anything, this F? if anything, if anything, that kind of adds more pity to this uh, uh, to this poor character yeah. because he's in this movie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he's fine with it. The movie's got like a 76 on Rotten Tomato. Are you serious? Oh yeah, I can see wow. why. Yeah, I can, I can see why people don't like it. But F, come on, F. Like this is not the trump card of horror movies. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I this, would, this I would, movie is not worse than Kitty Mamas. Fuck, okay, fair, fair. No, 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 no. Fair. Stick, stick with it, dude. Stick with it. Stick with. Stick with the F. Stick, stick with the F. You're over I here just, trying to give, present oh, a no, case. No, no, <laughs> yeah, I am. But I want to throw it in your face the next terrible movie we go see. Or we go see some horse shit where someone is like, I slipped on a pie, fart, D plus. Oh, really? 
<laughs> oh, really, motherfucker? I know what you said about in the earth. You gave that shit an F. You're getting this movie where Adam Sandler accidentally sleeps with a walrus. <laughs> a C minus. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I'm gonna use that as a weapon later on. Yeah. <laughs> no, I. You should stick with it because this was the most I heard you do during watching a movie really sound like you were not enjoying oh this my film. God. But I advise you not to watch the, some of the director's other movies because I don't think you'll like those either. Oh my God. <laughs> No, you when it, when you said all that about Adam Sandler, I was just thinking South Park. Awesome, awesome yeah. Ooh, we can call it Puppy Love. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's banging a seal and got sealed with a kiss. That's what it's called. Uh, C minus. I mean, it was better than In the Earth. Was it? Was it really? <laughs> oh. Well, then I guess someone should have had sex with the monolith in the film. It already had a glory hole in it. It did. It does. It does, it does, it does. have a hole in it. You're just oh upset no one banged that rock. <laughs> you caught me. No one banged Damn it, that F. <laughs> it's the rock F. Oh, shit. <laughs> so you're sticking with the... Yeah, 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 yeah. I gotta, I you gotta. Be, you I better. Gotta. I got some comedy out of you giving this on that. You better stick your guns on that. Otherwise, all my jokes are for nothing. <laughs> uh, B plus. I'm sorry. You know what? No. A plus. No, I'm kidding. I'm not giving this an A plus. <laughs> Brad's like, you're going to go F. Well, then I'm going to give it an A plus. An A plus. Yeah, I do agree with part of your destroyed my senses thing because it did destroy my eyes a little bit i'll give you i'll give you that one <laughs> and if you die while watching it i would understand giving it an f oh man <laughs> well all right what's next week mortal Kombat. oh shit son i'll see you there you go you're excited for that shit no <laughs> Just to go, uh, just to play off of the whole Adam Sandler. Oh yeah, yeah. I remember in the mid '90s, you're like Pulp Fiction. What's that bullshit? Ooh, the Mortal Kombat movie. <laughs> but the Mortal Kombat movie from the '90s, like this one, does have a very good musical score. Right? <laughs> it does. It's very, it's like the best part of that movie. And Christopher Lambert. All right. Well, next week is the Mortal Kombat movie. I think, unless they changed its release date. Again. So, okay. Take care, everyone. See you.